Hello, how are you today? It's okay. It's not cold? Not now, yes? Okay, so first of all, I would like to understand how many of you do not understand anything in English. <laughs> Raise your hands. No. <laughs> so you understand something, but if you don't understand some things or some certain questions you have, you can easily ask and we will translate it. But if you understand, as far as I speak now, in English, in my English, if you understand, then it's okay. We can continue like this. Okay? Okay, so I will, time to time, I will ask some questions to you to involve you more dynamically in this lecture, not only me talking here and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so you can share your opinions and your ideas about the business world. Na, ja jūs irgi būsit draugtie, skatinam kartu bendrauti, tai iš kad sakau, jums jie sveikiau kalbėti angliškai, sakykit lietuviškai šitas. Okay. ok, so we can agree on this. The first thing that I would like to understand is who you are, like what the profession are you representing? <laughs> Elect electric engineer? Yeah. Yes, and some other mechanics maybe? Yes. yes. Are you working with cars? What is your specific field of work? Like mechanics? Mostly cars. Mostly cars. And then there are specific things. Okay, so your main object is car. Yeah? Okay. I have a relative that has his own car service and uh, I will share some ideas from that point of view as well. But what about me is that I am in a bit different field of business. I am in uh, wood production and uh, we are producing uh, stairs for homes. The business that I am in was started 20 years ago, but not by me. <laughs> Of course, it was started by my father, and now I'm helping him also by managing the company. As you can see, my hands are too, too, not, not too, not, they are too clean to be the factory worker, as you understand. So that means that I'm working more here. And uh, this is what we may call business. The people, the most people that are involved in business, they are not the ones that do the hard work. Yeah, they are not, not, in some cases they can be, but mostly they are not. And they are doing everything and thinking all over with their heads, they are working with their heads and they are managing their resources in order to make what? Money. Of course, they are making money. Who likes money here? <laughs> and uh, who likes a lot of money? <laughs> here, here, the next question is about a lot of money. What does it mean? 10,000 is a lot? No, no. As income in every month is. One hundred thousand is a lot? No. One million is a lot. No. For some it is and for some it's not. It doesn't matter. You can have lots also. But the question is about 
how much is a lot for you, for each of you, because it will be different amounts. A million. For some it's million, for some it's billions, for some it's enough with 1,000. Maybe, I don't know. So, the question is, you need to specify and to understand what is your goal. What kind of money you want to earn in your business, if you are involved. No, no, it's just a general idea that you want to, for example, in the next five years, I want to make money no, like 20,000. Then you want 10,000, then yeah. you have 10,000, you want 100,000. Yes, right? of course, it's changing, but yeah. the first goal you need to set up for you anyway. And uh, now I would like to ask you if you have, if you did business before, any one of you. Yeah. Okay, now I will ask you a different question. Have you bought something for cheaper price and sold it? For a bigger price. It's speculation. It's uh, it's the most simple part. Uh, simple. Yeah, it's not business. No. Yeah, this business, is this is but. most simple concept of business. It's like buying and selling for profit. The target is profit. Of course, it's. In some cases it's speculation, in some cases for some spheres it's business. But we are talking about business that we create something, right? We are thinking about this idea. And uh, the next thing that I'm going to show you is the reason why people get involved in business. How do you think? Why they do this? Because we want to uh, uh, make money. Of course, this is the main, the key point. Money. Because we love the things we love too. Because we love, we believe in the uh, in our idea, and we know that it will, it can solve some problems for other people. For example. In your case, it is the problems that they, other people have with their cars. You are solving, you are fixing them, you are solving their problems. So basically, business is about solving other people's problems or expe expectations and needs. But now I will show you something that only a few people know. Maybe some of you have seen already this kind of thing. Have you? Have you heard something? Yes. Pinigus Roto Quadrantis. This is a concept that was created by a businessman in America called Robert Kiyosaki. And he, he is explaining the business sphere, the business field from the four perspectives. And, uh, well, actually, this is the cash flow of money. And the first one, I will show the next one, for you to understand all the parts of our lives. Yeah, for me it's not so simple. See, I mean, the way... Uh, I, I admit, sir, the way it was written, 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 the way so, you can see that there are two parts. The left part and the right part. And the left part is all about your work. That you are doing with your own hands. That you are going to the ser car service and fixing cars by your own. And uh, the money that you can earn by this way is limited with your time that you give for the work. So, 
su tuo kiek jūs galite padaryti darbo per ribotą laipą tarpą. So this is the reason why many or not so many actually why people start businesses. Because they understand that with their own hands they are very limited. So they create business hire <coughs> other people to work for them. Tai todėl yra didžioji vienas didžioji priežasčių, kodėl žmogas pravesto ir įmasi versto dėl to, kad jie supranta, kad reikia rasti kitus žmogus ir kitas rankas, kurios galėtų padaryti darbą už juos. Are you here someone who would like to start a business and hire people working for you? Ar norėtų pasakyti iš jūsų savo verslo sukurti ir sandyti kitus žmogus, kad jiems grįžtų? I hope that after this lesson, after this lecture, I will see more hands rising up. Because now I will explain why people should own their own business. The left part, as I said, is limited by your own work, your own efforts. And what happens when you get sick? It's kaput. It's finished. Yes. <laughs> it's finished. The money is cut off and there is no money anymore. Until you get healthy again to work. But you know that we have all things to worry about. Yeah, you see, you cannot work anymore, right? <laughs> so, and during this period while we are sick, we still have to pay our rent, we still have to pay all the commodities that we have, all the taxes, everything we have to pay. If we have some loans in the banks, everything has to be paid. This is very dangerous situation for people from the left side. Tai ja jūs sergat, jūs vis tiek turite mokėti saugius mokesčius, netgi banko paskolas, ar jūs jas turite ir tai labai pavojinga gesa kiriai pusėje. And what is the good part of the right side? You don't have that anti you don't have to work very hard. Actually, there is the, the the one thing that you have to do is you have to work very hard just for a limited time, just to start your business. And after, when you hire other people, they are starting working for you. And you have time to think, you have time to manage this business, and maybe later, hire someone else for you to do your job and you become an investor. People are working all the time, the money is flowing, the money is going around and you are investing your money in your own business or creating new businesses. Tai reiškia, kad iš pradžių iš tikrųjų tai reikia daug dirbti kai esi verslininkas, bet vėliau po tam tikro ribotų laiko, jei tu tą verslą sukūrėjai ir jis sėkmingas, tu gali dirbti mažiau ir daugiau galvoti ir daugiau investuoti, o ne dirbti. And now I would like to ask if any one of you knows some business people. Ar pažįstat verslininkų? Do you know someone who is a businessman? Now I would like to ask you to name some characteristics or some qualities that a businessman has, that the businessman that you know has. What is my position? Because I am good in the business. We have no time, we are quite nervous. But something good? Something. Okay. But in order to create business, what kind of values the person has to have? Kokias nadertybės, kokias jis savybės teikiamas turės? Teikiamas? Neturėt sąžinti. Yes, no, no. 
Koniec czasu. Okej. Let's see on the characteristics of a businessman. Gold. Okay, and let's start with the first one, the knowledge. You are here, why? To get some knowledge. To get some knowledge. Some kind of knowledge or very specific knowledge? <laughs> very specific knowledge. And the, for the businessman it is very important to understand the business that he is going into. He doesn't need to understand everything, but you need to understand everything about car service. And uh, if you ha don't have any of the knowledge, you cannot start the business. But you have to learn things, you have to find out things. And if you don't want to do this, then you have to find other people who know all the things that you don't know. And then you can involve them. For example, I assume that you are not learning accounting. Žinios reikalingos tam, kad pradėtų vesto ir reikalingos specifinės žinios tam, kad pradėtų vesti. Bet jei tu nežinai kažko, tu gali arba mokytis ir sužinoti apie tos vietės dalykus, arba įtraukti kitų žmonės, kurie žino tos dalykus ir tu tavo komandos dalimi. Pavyzdžiui, buhalterija. Jis mano, kad jūs turbūt nesimokat buhalterijos. Taigi? That's why there are other people who can do this for you. And for you, it is important to understand only your specific field of work to do the business right. Then the next one, a personality. A person who doesn't know anything cannot have a strong personality because the confidence about yourself grows together with the knowledge that you have. Verslus, verslinkui labai būdinga yra stipri asmenybė, bet stipri asmenybė yra tiesiog įsusijusi su galvomis žinomis, nes savimiu pasitikėjimas atsirano tada, kai tu daug žinai ir gali tos dalykus pasakyti ir jais suėsdirti. The next one, let's skip that one and go to the goals and then we can return. About the goals, do you have any goals? You don't have too much. Too much. You don't have a goal to finish the studies here. Are not too much. 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 Too This is why we were talking also in the beginning of the lecture that how much money do you want? A lot, of course, a lot. But how much is it? And all of the money. <laughs> so how much is it? And how you will know that you have achieved your goal? How you will know, how you will measure that you have reached it. For example, if you know that you want one million liters, maybe, in your bank account, this is specific goal. You can measure it. And if you don't have, you haven't reached it. The specific things are that if you concretely you know what you want, you know what you want, million bank accounts, you can measure it like you can see it. Or if you don't see it, you can constate it. What you see is that. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, so we can go to the persistence. If we have the goal, we can reach the goal only when we know what kind of steps we have to we have to make in order to reach this specific goal. And then all our actions are considered and are together with this goal are connected with the goal. 
Tai kai mes susikeliam savo tam tikrą tikslą, tai ir savo visus veiksmus, kai juos darome, susijame su tuo veiksmu, kad tikslingai juos siekti. How many of you are doing something about your goals? Ar kaž ar dirbat su savo tikslais, kuriuos susikeliam, ar darot kažką apie ties pasiekti? Yes, we can see that not everyone. We can see that not everyone is taking the steps in order to achieve their goals because there are some distractions along the way. There are some friends that are telling you, "I ah, forget about this. Don't do this. Let's go for have some party, right?" Or There are some people that don't believe in your goal, and they say, don't, don't even try, you will fail, don't even bother doing this. And now, when you are persistent, and you believe in your goal, you can achieve it. Nepasiekė arba net neturi tikslų ir dėl to iš vis nesiekė nieko. Tai svarbu turėti ir tikslą ir nusikėjo siekti. And the next one is the courage, of course. How many of you you think you are brave? Kas man atpėtės atdrasus? Aš! Very good. Why do you have to be brave? Kodėl turėtų būti drąsus? several businesses which failed. Historia rodo, kad žmonės turėjo pasisiekti didelį tikslės veslę, išvadžių turėjo veslus, kurios yra paskysiu taip susimovę dėlę tokio aktu prieš tai. And for example, what happens if you lose all your money in your first business? Kaput. But you have your goal in mind. You want this one million or okay, 10,000 euros in the next two years, but you need want to achieve this goal, and you know that you will need to start another business in order to achieve this goal. You start the next business and you again fail. How do you feel? Today I had the one lecture already before you, and they said you will feel like a loser. And to overcome this feeling, you have to have courage, you have to be brave, to take the risk again. Why? <laughs> Because you have your goal. And again, all these businesses that you fail in are giving you a lesson. A lesson that you can turn into success. Because if you do every time the same things and make the same mistakes, you are not learning. Tai reiškia, kad jūs praradė savo verslą, bankrutavę, išmokstate kiekvieną kartą kažko. Jeigu jūs kiekvieną kartą darot tą patį su tomis pačiomis klaidomis, ir taip pat praradot veslo, reiškia, kad nesimokot. O šiaip turėtumėt mokytis iš savo kildų. Some of people need more lessons, some of people need less. But all of us, in some point, we will face the situation that we have to take another risk. Kai kurie žmonėm tu palanku reikia daugiau, kai kurie mažiau, bet visi anksčiau ir galiau susitūrti su situacija, kai reikės prisijimti riziką. And now, in order to succeed, there is one very important thing that many people have problems with. It's this. How about you? Kaip jums yra su disciplina? Kaip jūs laikotės pareigojimus savo ir to tėmas? Who has problem with discipline? There are most people actually have problems with discipline. 
But this is very important thing to overcome. If you have this goal, you know what you have to do, and you just do it. And do it persistently, one step after another, step by step, you go to your goal. You can make big steps, or you can make small steps. It doesn't matter, unless it is going to your direction. Uh, we all have faced now this economic crisis, and we know that all the past years also there was like a cycle. There was time that the economy was up and there is time when it goes down. Then it goes again up and then goes again down. You understand this, yeah? But it is always cycle. So now we are now we are somewhere in the middle maybe. More to the down, but <laughs> Ekonomika vystas ciklais ir mes tą visai nesinai pajutome. Dabar esam kažkur apie vidurį, bet galbūt arčiau apučios. So, at this point, you need to understand that the businessman has to be flexible. He has to be flexible and to respond to the changes very quickly and to understand what to do. When the economy is down, how he can maintain his business, maybe he has to fire people, it's cruel, but he has to maintain his business. And maybe when the economy goes again up, he can hire again those people back. Of course, they will be very angry on this businessman, but actually he is helping them to recover later. Uh, Tas lankstumas, kuris yra būtinas, tokiomis aplinkybėmis, kai ekonomika kyla, tai yra kai, kai leidžiasi ir kai yra sudėtinga ekonomija politis, pasireiškia įvairiais modais. Pavyzdžiui, gali būti atleisti dažnai labai darbuotojai ir būti labai nepatenginti ir po to net nenorėti grįžti į ekonomiją po kilimo į jotą verslą, bet tai yra na, kartais būtinas priemonės, kad tą verslą išsaugo, išlaikyti tą bendrą bendra, bendra lygį ir bent jau įmonę pačią. And uh, not so long time ago, the economy was up, right? And during this period, what should the businessman do? He should make a party and celebrate and spend his own money right to the right and the left. Yes, he, he, ha, he, he has to focus on his goals and be and maintain the discipline. He cannot throw the money all around because he has to understand soon there will be going down again the economy. He has to be prepared and for these all changes the businessman has to be flexible. And the last one thing, initiative. No matter what kind of idea you have, the best, the greatest idea ever, or not so good idea, nothing will change unless you start doing something. Unless you make your first step to the goal that you have set. Bet kovus nežengėte jokio žingsto ir nieko nepadaro, tai aišku, jinai nieko ir nenuvės tą idėją. How many of you have ideas in your mind? Kas iš jūsų turi minčių savo įdėjų? About business. Apie verslą kokiu nors. Or how to improve some other businesses. Arba kaip pagerinti jau esančius kokius nors verslus. And uh, no matter that not all of you right, have risen your hands, I think every person here has at least five good ideas that they could start. These ideas are your own or you have heard them somewhere, it doesn't matter. 
You don't have to reinvent a wheel to start the business. But most of people don't do anything about their ideas. And the biggest dumpster of ideas is the graveyard. <laughs> Ir daugelis žmonių nieko nepadaro su tom idėjom ir didžiausias kliūvinys ir kiekvieną idėją įgyvendinti galiausiai yra ką padobė, nes žmonės per gyvenimą taip ir nugyvena nieko ir negyvendinė. You cannot imagine how many good ideas are buried here just because people don't believe in their idea. Jūs ten neįsivizduojat, kiek čia palaidotų idėjų vien dėl to, kad žmonės per mažai tikėjo savo idėjų. And this one shows that we have limited time here on this earth to achieve our ideas, to start any of our ideas and endeavors. Tai reiškia, kad mes tikrai reiktų pamastyti, kad per mažai turim laiko kartais žemėje, kad savo idėjas žudytume ir jų neįgyvendytume. Now again, how many of you have ideas? Dar kartą pavyzdžiui, tai kiek iš jūsų turi idėjų? Did you tell your idea to someone else? Ar savo idėjas turi maskanos kitiem pasakyti? Ne, no. Somebody only. No. Exactly. This is what the most people do. They keep their ideas to themselves. Because then, why should I tell someone about my idea? I will tell him and he will do it. Right? You should do better and then he and he won't do anything like you. Yeah, of course. But the reason is why I ask you this is because you have to exchange your ideas because The concept that you have in your mind may miss some details. Kodėl svarbu dalyti savo idėjo? Nes tas suvokimas ir ta idėja, kurią jūs turit savo mintise, gali būti nepilnai išpėtoti ir trūkti tam tikrų labai svarbių detalių. For example, if I would have an apple and you would have an apple, we would exchange with our apples and we still have one apple. Jei mes turėtume, jis turėtų ir kolega po vieną obulį, jie tais obuliais apsikeistų, jie ir toliau turėtų po vieną obulį, nieks nepasikeistų. Now, I have an idea and he has an idea. We exchange our ideas and we both have two very good ideas. Su idėja visai kitaip, aš turiu idėją, jis turiu idėją, mes pasikeičiame ir abu turim po dvi idėjas. And now, The more we walk around and talk about our idea and listen to other people's ideas regarding our idea, we are getting more and more good ideas to start. And this is what happens. When we are talking to other people, we may find out some kind of little pieces that are missing in our own idea to improve it. Kalbam iš tą pasakom savo idėją, kita žmogus daug geriau gali pamatyti, kurios dalys yra trūkstamos, kad tai idėja iš tikrųjų būtų įgyvendinti. And one more thing. When we are talking about our ideas to someone else, we are telling them we are specifying some things. We are concretizing all the aspects of our idea. And we understand our own idea better. And uh, there are some truths in this whole wide world. 
Jei jūs atsibūnate dritę daugiaus veikas negu likotas, jūs esate laimingas, laimingesnis negu milijonai, kurie turi nepagydomas ligas. Do you feel healthy today? Ar jūs jaučiate sveiki šiandien? No. No. Yes. 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 Other people. There are many people out there that cannot achieve anything just because they have their sicknesses. The truth number two. You are still the master of social media. Drabuši su spintoje stoga iš galvos ir vieta, kur pamėgoti, jūs esate turtingesnis negu 70 procentų pasaulio gyventojų. How do you feel now? Better. Yeah, you never thought about this, but it's true. When we look at the concept of all the world, and uh, I don't, we were talking about lot of money, yes, previously. What does it mean for you, and what does it mean for those people? The next thing is about money. Yes, yes, yes. Do you think that the people who are not as fit are so finicky? The bar, the people who are not fit, the you say that per person you present to the finance of the government. And how do you feel now? Much better. Much better, yeah. So you never thought about this perspective. And let me sh share with you an uh, idea, well, basically the truth about money. 95% of all money belongs to 5% of all people. <laughs> So you are very close to this number. You will not ask why. Why? <laughs> exactly. Why? Because those five percent are the only people who put goals. Those are the only people who manage their time. Those are those people who own businesses. And now, when I ask you, don't you earn money when you are working? You earn money, right? But where does the money go? <laughs> Bet ir jūs gi uždirbate pinigus, ar uždirbsite, bet kai uždirbsite tos pinigus, kur tie pinigai nukeliau? Kur, kur, kaip jūs man? To the state. To the state, not all of it. You are going to the shops, you are buying things. You are buying goods, you are buying services. You are exchanging your money for something that you need. Jūs pirsit paslaugas, produktus, žodžiu, jūs įgysit kažką, And this money goes to the business owners, and they invest this money again in the new businesses or their existing business. And there are two ways how you can start a business, basically. The first one is you create your business from zero. From nothing you start creating your own business. <laughs> the second one that may concern most of you, perhaps, you start working as a worker in a service and then you believe in this place where you are working and you start investing your money 
together. You are buying shares from your company and becoming a business partner. Ir kitas būdas yra, dar be kuriame jis dirbate, jūs patikite tą idėją ir po truputį tam patie nedarbuotojo verslo partnerį, pavyzdžiui, nusipirdami akcijai. When you are becoming a partner of the company that you are working in, you start working better. You start believing in this company more than if this company belongs only for someone else. Ir kai jūs tampate tos kompanijos dalimai, jūs iškart pradėte dirbti geriau, nes pradėte tikėti to. So, if you say that you don't have any idea how to start a business, buy a business. Or get involved in the business more, as if this business would be yours, and maybe someday it could be. Jeigu neturite idėjas, galite įsiverinti į verslą ir dirbti tai, kaip tikėtume, kad kažkada tas verslas tarp jūs. Let's continue with the truth. Dar viena tiesa, jei jūsų tėvai yra vis dar gyvi, jei dar jie net ne laimingai susituokia, jūs esate labai vietai šimtis. And family, friends, relatives, They are people who are the supporting team for you, for your ideas. Ir šeima, gimenės, draugai, jie visi yra tie, kurie yra padedančioji komanda jūsų, kurie... There are many people out there that don't have this support at all. Daug žmonių tos paramos iš vis metu. And the last truth... Šitą papadinkit paskaityt, kas praskai to yra. Jei atsakote, taip, taip pakelti tranką. Who can do that? Ok, I suppose everyone can read here and that means that there is no reason at all that you could not start your own business. And with this note I would like to motivate and to encourage you to think about your great ideas that you have, to develop, to share with them, to make them more uh, fulfilled, more complete, for you to understand that you can reach the goal that you are going to. And as the last thing, as As for all the groups that I'm working with, I would like to <coughs> wish you a good luck with your upcoming businesses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.